What do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Hello, hello. Cozy here again to continue uh, this adventure. And uh, I had a little bit of an issue there, so I couldn't really uh, end it as smooth as I wanted to. But here we are in the same spot, so uh, sit back and enjoy. been here an hour maybe getting our Sherlock Holmes on a little detective work no signs that it's been here long fabric looks like jeans doesn't tell me much Some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. So blood. Sharp enough. No way to get over there, I guess. I wonder if there's anything else in the house that uh, that we could check or anything. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up we'll find out more at the business office she'll be in the books i'm sure of it big p do you have any idea what's going on how did this happen why her this is a message a message i don't know big b i get complaints at the office all the time but just what about this makes you think that Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that. I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds... Reasonable, but I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. faith, eh? We're gonna find out who did that. And here's these guys again. I keep seeing that ginger guy, or the guy with the orange hair. He's gotta have something to do find? with all this. 
What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I know. I'm taking cuts. Is that supposed to be funny? You see anyone here laughing, sheriff? It's his office, B. Fucker. Well, he works here with this. Yes, I see. I, I... You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard was mentioned. Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. The guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something worth checking. Yeah. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. I don't like that guy. He's up to something. Hiding something, boy. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Fuck Smoke Crane. Away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. There's that bottle, boy. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. <laughs> the mirror. Mirror, mirror really on the wall. I this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Hi, this is Snow White, Miss Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. 
after the genie's been freed. Yes, that's right. Worth a try. <laughs> Worth a try. Rub that lamp. Maybe a genie might come out, boy. I'll go check on that, uh... Go check on the mirror last. I just want to walk around here see if there's anything good. Well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again and get back to you. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then. Or what he did to get them. I'll be sure to let him know. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. That's me, boy. Strength, boy. Let's check another card, boy. The tower and strength. What's the third one gonna be, boy? Damn. Just what the fuck is this supposed to mean? <laughs> he keeps that one. That's cool. Anything over here? Guess it's time to check this mirror now, boy. <laughs> hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Okay, we'll ask about these other three until we get the books from that, uh, buffkin dude. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> Friggin' Buffkin drinking all that liquor. Show me Snow White. What's up, Snow White? Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Shut up, Mir. Respect my authority. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me the woodsman. So, it looks like he's pretty hurt. He, I don't think he... Killed the uh, faith there and left her head there. I really don't think that was him. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. 
Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. <laughs> That's funny. What about another card? Can I show him the other card? No. I think I only have one of them. Oh, I wonder if I can ask him about this fabric. You know what this means? No, I can't. Tarot's and backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that one again. I was trying to see if I could select a different uh, piece of evidence and ask him about that, but. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Get to work there, boy. Okay, let's check them all out and see what it has to say about them, shall we? Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Back when. Ugh. Long time ago. seen him in a while. Well, that's <laughs> how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah, I remember. And him. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. Yeah, the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Beauty in happier days. Colin and his brothers. Beast. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. <laughs> Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Yeah, time, time it changed, boy. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. <laughs> Toad's crazy. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Alright then, boy, let's check one of these other books. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Come help, boy. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. <laughs> <laughs> Bigby's funny, yo. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Alright, now to the right side we go. We checked that one. There it is. That's the one we need right there. Is there anything else? No, just this one. 
This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo? That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Well... Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Poor Faith. Deceased. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Let's go find that boy. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Is there anything else in those books? Nope, that was it, okay. Just want to make sure now, boy. Let's see, where to now? Let's go ask the, uh, the mirror here, what'd it do? Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Faith, yo. Ooh. What about... I probably can do all of them, eh? Let's ask about He's a prince, all I of think. them. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince... Probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Show me... Show me Faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What the hell? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. God Sorry. damn. I have to get that. Phone call, boy. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes. I He is. Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Tom. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. 
Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. All right, so uh, this time I think I'm going to go and uh, try to get her husband. Um, when I did this before, I went to go see Toad because I kind of like Toad. He's kind of a cool character. Um, but this time I think I'm going to go try to get Prince Lawrence and see how that works out for me. All righty, first let's check out some of these Book of Fables here. I think we checked up to Beauty and the Beast. We checked Toad, probably. Colin is better known as one of the three pigs. Back in the homelands, they were harassed by the big bad wolf who blew down Colin's house of straw. After the exodus, Colin and the other fables, who couldn't pass for human were sent to live at the farm in upstate New York. Unable to stand such a boring life, Colin constantly makes trips down to Fabletown to bother Bigby. He is always caught and sent back to the farm, but he doesn't let that stop him. Ichabod Crane Hailing from the haunted town of Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane has been deputy mayor of Fabletown for nearly 115 years. Crane is a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously, though that doesn't mean he doesn't always do it well. As one of Fable Town's elite, Crane is often blind to the troubles of the less well-off citizens. Overall, Crane is an authoritarian, cowardly and always hiding something. That's what I thought. I mean, he was hiding something when it came to, uh, um, to that girl, I think. About the death. I think he knows something about, uh about that that he's hiding buffkin is the talking winged monkey from the land of oz aka wizard of oz now as fable town's librarian he spends his time reading and stealing the deputy mayor's booze he's prone to mischief so when something goes wrong he assumes he'll receive the lion's share of the blame he's helpful when he wants to be but most of the time he'd rather be drinking boy Someone would be fired. Someone would have fired him a long time ago, but he's the only one who makes sense of the filing system here. Fable Town, home of the fables. Fable Town is a community located on Bullfitch Street in Manhattan's Upper West Side. To regular people, or Mondays, it appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood. But it is really the home of the fables from many worlds. And within the business office at the Woodlands lies a massive cavern, a vast library, and hundreds of magical items of immense power. All non-human fables live up state at the farm, an extension of Fable Town. The Farm, Fable Town Index. The farm is home to fables who cannot pass as human. Giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York City far enough away from the Mondays to avoid detection. Some of its residents resent their confinements to the farm, despite its size and comforts. To them, the farm is a prison, boy. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase a glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive. Though some, like Colin, sneak out into the city anyways. Mondays, also known as non-fables. Short for mundane, Monday is a catch term that all fables use to refer to the non-magical inhabitants of their adopted home. Wanding spells placed around the blocks of Fable Town and the farm keep their minds distracted and dull within certain boundaries. However, if anything should pique the curiosity or scrutiny of a large group of Mondays, these magical protection charms would overload and fail. As sheriff of Fable Town, one of Big Bigby's primary functions is to ensuring the Fable Town community maintains a low profile. Glamours, we know what that is. Uh, that's pretty much the spells that allows them to change their appearance. Prince Lawrence, Faith's husband. After escaping the homelands, Prince Lawrence and his wife Faith immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. 
They moved to New York hoping to find aid in a community of fellow Fables. But without enough money to live in Fable Town, they had to settle on an apartment on the outskirts of the neighborhood. Unfortunately, that meant out of sight and out of mind when it came to government assistance. The prospects dwindling, Faith left Lawrence to try to make it on her own. Now, without his wife for support, Lawrence struggles to motivate himself and quickly sinks into depression. Poor Prince Lawrence. Alrighty. So, there we go. That's a little uh, history there. And I think this is, uh, real quickly here, this is going to be the end of the second video. I just kind of want to have them in uh, shorter groups there. So when I come back, uh, for you people watching the stream, keep watching. I'll be back in a few minutes. And for you people on YouTube, uh, be on the lookout for the next video. This has been video two, Cozy playing The Wolf Amongst Us, new game by Telltale. Take care. Bye-bye.